Hi guys, my name is Ben Taylor and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be talking to you about the top five Canon lenses that you should buy if you're on a budget. Let's roll that intro. The first lens to make today's shortlist is the Canon 10 to 18 millimeter. This is an EFS lens which means that it's for crop sensor cameras. Now, the great thing about this lens for me is it's lightweight, which means you can carry it around in your bag and it's not gonna add any extra weight. Now, this lens comes along with Canon's stabilizer, which is particularly good when you're taking pictures handheld. This means that you're less likely to get camera shake. This lens comes with an aperture of f4.5 through to f5.5, which is not particularly low, and it does mean that you're probably less likely to get any bokeh. But it does also mean that you will get a nice wide angle shot and get everything in your frame. Now, this lens, in my experience, is very good. It takes a nice sharp image, but it's best used between f8 through to f11, or even up to f14. When you start going lower in the aperture numbers, you do get a little bit of softness around the edges. I do recommend this lens for anyone that wants a wide angle lens for landscape photography. And to add to that, if you're a vlogger, it's perfect for getting your whole face in the picture. Okay, so this lens is around £200 and I'd give it about an 8 out of 10. The next lens on the list is a lens I'm very fun with and it's also fondly known as the pancake lens. This little 24mm prime lens from Canon is also part of the EFS range, which means that it's going to be part of the crop sensor cameras. Now this actual lens would fit pretty much anywhere. Look at the size of it. And what's particularly good about it is the image quality. It also comes with an STM focus, which means it's quick and it's quiet. Also, this lens has an aperture of f2.8 so you will get a nice bokeh with this lens. It's great for video and it's also great for landscapes. It's also a very good lens which you can just take around and take random pictures of. I would recommend this lens to any Canon crop sensor camera owner and that's because it's great quality and it's cheap. This lens comes in at amazing £130. Let's take a look at the next lens. This is a very popular lens with a lot of Canon camera owners. And this is the Canon 50mm f1.8 STM. Yes, it has a long name, but this is a great camera lens. It's a prime lens, of course, so there's no zoom. And it also, it's very good because it has an aperture of f1.8. Great quality in low light and great bokeh. Now this lens is also an STM autofocus, which means it's quick and also quiet. And it's very light as well. Like the two lenses that we've looked at, it's most likely to fit in your bag and you won't even know it's in there. Now I would recommend this lens to anyone, not just for the quality, but wow, for the price. This lens comes in at 95 pound, which is extremely cheap and should definitely be on your list. Next on the list, and quite surprisingly maybe, is the Canon 85mm f1.8. Now this is the USM version, which is quite a few years old now, but it's still a cracking lens. This by far has the best image quality of any of the lenses that I've discussed so far in this video. But what's not particularly good, in my opinion, is the autofocus. I mean, it's slow and it's noisy. It's good when it hits focus, but it just takes a while getting there. This lens is also made of like metal or steel or whatever it's made of, so it's very heavy. So you will know this is in your bag, but it does feel like a quality piece of kit. This lens comes out at about £200. So if you want to get a lens with absolute brilliant sharpness and great amazing optical quality, I would definitely recommend this lens. Finally, but definitely not leastly, this lens here is one of my favorite lenses that I've bought in recent years. And this is the Canon 70 to 300 millimeter. This lens is exceptionally good. Now it was a difficult decision for me to decide to buy this. I was originally gonna buy the Canon F4 
the white version, which you're probably all very familiar with. Now the Canon F4 70 to 200 millimeter lens is exceptionally good quality. And this lens, which is 500 pound cheaper, that's 500 pound, is only slightly less quality. So for me, it was an easy buy. I could sacrifice that little bit of quality for 500 pound in my pocket. Now this lens, let's discuss some of the good things. It has onboard stabilization, very good for handheld shots. It also has a different little mode button here, which you come with a little digital screen. Now I'd like to say that that has some uses, but really it's just a gimmick. It doesn't really do anything. But what's exceptionally good about this lens is the quality. Also the aperture starts, as you can see, at f4 and goes through to f5.5. So it's not an incredibly low aperture, but as you know, shooting with a long zoom lens like this, you're going to get a bokeh in the background anyway. I would definitely recommend this lens for anyone looking for their first or a very well-priced telephoto lens. This lens comes out at £400. So they're the top five budget lenses, in my opinion, for Canon cameras. Now some of the lenses discussed in this video were EFS lenses for crop sensors and some of them were for full frame. I'm going to put this in the description just in case you missed it in the video and I'm also going to put a link to each one of these lenses if you do consider that you want to buy one. Thanks for watching this video guys, if this is your first time here please make sure you hit subscribe and then follow on and hit the notification bell. Whatever you do today, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you all in the next video.